Hi there, I'm David Mather, Corgi Brand Executive. I'm excited to present to you the first look at what's coming from Corgi in 2022, but first I'd like to explain our new release structure that's debuting this year. It's not exactly reinventing the wheel, but starting from 2022, Corgi will be announcing products three times a year, debuting a new catalogue release and separate range launch with each drop of product. Products will be announced in good time to enable pre-orders, but also to close the gap between announcement and delivery. We've been in the habit of announcing products a long way in advance, and then they don't arrive until a year later, especially in terms of brand new tool product. So in this first announcement today, I'll be talking about the selection of new releases coming between January and April this year, but I'll still be letting you know what we're working on in terms of our new tools ahead of the opening of pre-orders for those items later this year. Firstly, in the first four months of 2022, we have three new releases in the Aviation Archive range. We have our next P-51D Mustang up first, Detroit Miss, as flown by Lieutenant Urban L. Drew. I think this is the most beautiful Mustang we've produced off of this tooling, and this model is our final signed sample, meaning it's exactly as you'll see it released. This one is due for release in March. Next, we've got something I'm excited to reintroduce to the Aviation Archive range for the first time in nearly a decade, a new release of our short Sterling tooling. A big heavy model, this release recreates a bomber with a beautiful piece of nose art, the Gremlin Teaser. It'll be available in April. 2022 marks the 40th anniversary of the Falklands conflict, and we're marking this with a trio of releases in new bespoke packaging. The first of these will be the long requested Avro Vulcan B2 from the infamous Black Buck 6 raid, featuring Shrike missiles underneath the wings for the first time, giving the aircraft a different profile from any of the other releases previously. This is also an April release. And don't worry, I'll have more to reveal from our Falklands range in our May range announcement. That's everything new for aviation, but it's worth noting that our new tool Bristol Beaufort Mark 1 will soon be with us as well. We announced this as part of the 2021 range, and this is an early pre-production sample of the model with various improvements underway before its release. As part of Naval Power, our new range of die-cast ships, we have the second of our Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers, HMS Prince of Wales. This model has some differences from her sister ship, with Apache and Merlin helicopters lining the deck alongside F-35 Lightnings. This model has been previously announced, but you could expect it to arrive in May 2022. Moving on to Vanguards, we have two new releases to announce in this first selection for January, a Ford Granada Mark II 2.8 injection sport in Cardinal Red, and a Volkswagen Campervan Type 2 in Palm Green and Sand Green, which are both due in April. These are both our pre-production samples and subject to change. Also coming in April are the first two releases of our brand new Ford Escort Mark II RS2000 tooling. These have been the most popular releases in the Vanguard's range for many years and have seen huge demand at pre-order. These are our first samples that arrived here a few days ago here at Corgi HQ, and I think you'll agree they look very nice indeed. We also have more models from this tooling to announce later this year. Moving on to Original Omnibus, in 2022 we're looking to return some classic tools from the archive to the range later in the year, but to start we have two new releases of our classic Routemaster, a vibrant Blackpool transport livery that was running during the summer of 1990, and the beautiful 1000th Routemaster produced and run by London Transport. Both of these are due for release in April. Our Military Legends range expands with three new releases this year. A Tiger Tank tool gets another outing in the guise of the most famous tank of the world, as displayed on Horse Guards Parade following its capture and transportation from Tunisia. Alongside that is a new release from our Churchill Mark IV, depicting one of the tanks present during the capture of Tiger 131 in Tunisia. Both of these releases are due in February. Also new is our previously announced Sherman M4A1 Trophy Tank, which features a newly tooled body shell which effectively makes this a brand new product. This will be coming to market in March. Moving on to licenses, we have a second Coca-Cola truck coming following the sellout of the extremely popular Christmas truck, and there will be another chance to order that later this year. We've gone for a more summery and classic feel for this new release, which will be available in February. And finally for our January pre-order announcements, we have our brand new tool, the Triumph Scrambler 1200, as seen in the latest James Bond film, No Time to Die. You'll be aware that this was announced last year as a 124th scale release, which we later cancelled, and have now reimagined as a 112th scale product, a first for Corgi. We're still deep in advanced development on this one, and so we'll have more to show later in the year in terms of physical product, but I can say that we've worked on several premium features that are impossible at the smaller scale, including sprung suspension and the rear wheel support stand. 
That's everything available for pre-order in January, but I did promise to update you on some of what we've been working on in terms of brand new tool product this year. These will all be available for pre-order later in the year and we'll be releasing further updates as we go along. Firstly, for Aviation Archive, I'm delighted to say we're working on three newly tooled products. In our 148 scale jet range, we'll be releasing a Harrier 2. This tooling will be extremely thorough, encompassing both BAE's GR5, GR7 and GR9 marks, as well as McDonnell Douglas's AV8B versions used by international operators. Alongside that, we are tooling an extensive range of weapon options. Meanwhile, in 172 scale, we're working on not one but two new Supermarine Spitfire tools. Coming first will be the Spitfire Mark IX, which will encompass both the C and E wing types. This fills a big hole in the Corgi range and gives us access to a huge range of aircraft liveries that we've never produced before. And following along after that will be the Spitfire T9, which is a tooling I'm very excited about for a number of reasons. We're working alongside the team at Biggin Hill Heritage Hangar to produce this one, who have given us access to LiDAR scan their beautiful T308 airframe, decorated in the livery of the RAAF 457 Squadron. We've never scanned a Spitfire before for replication as a product at Hornby Hobbies, so this one is a real first for us. In Vanguards, Ford is our most popular vehicle license, so we're going to go quite big on it for 2022. We'll be tooling up four new vehicle types, including some that should come as a proper surprise. Furthest along in development is the Ford Cortina Mark V. We went to the Ford Heritage Centre in Dagenham, Essex to scan the last Cortina ever built, and I can confirm this specific vehicle will be the first release off of this new tooling. Our other three new tool releases are intended to bring the Vanguard's range more up to date, but all follow a line of thinking of desirable but obtainable vehicles. Vehicles you might have seen on the road, but might be slightly out of reach depending on your bank balance. We will be producing new models of the Ford Focus Mark III, which will include the RS and ST editions, the Ford Transit Custom, which will include sport and trail versions as first releases, and the Ford Ranger Raptor pickup truck. We also have more new tool items in development besides these that I'll be talking about in the future, as well as an exciting new entertainment license that goes together with Corgi like crackers and cheese. That's everything I can share for now regarding Corgi 2022 product, but I'll be back in a few months to talk about our May range announcements featuring plenty more new products, as well as updates on our new tools as they progress through development to pre-order availability.